Hey guys, Lowell Model Maker here with a tutorial on how to use Lowell Model Maker's Admin V2 Remote Administration. So first, you have to go into the place you want Remote Administration, either Edit or Build. Okay, if you don't have this service, HTTP service over here already, then you have to do this first. Go over to the Insert tab and hit Service. Select HTTP HTTP service and hit insert. Then you have to go over here and it says HTTP enabled. You have to make sure this is checked. And then you insert my admin if you haven't already. You go over to settings and then you hit linked account. If you don't have this, you may need to reinsert the admin for a new version or insert it yourself if you know a little bit of scripting. Then you have to go over to my website and go over to your profile, which mine is the little model maker. So it will be the admin by default. You can make this little model maker. And now we're done with that. So we can save. And now we can have, head over to the place, hit play. Okay, now that that's open, you know we head over to here and we hit remote admin. So now we get this neat little interface. So remote admin pretty much is like an admin without you being there and it can control all servers that have that linked account that you put in. So if we want Fred to be an admin in all servers, he can save and it'll take approximately five seconds to register go and say admins Fred is an admin and you don't even have to be in the place for this tour it'll go for all places if you want to execute a command so the prefix is semicolon but with this you don't need the prefix so we can just do m blue hi and then we want to save these changes. This right here just will clear out this. And if we wait, and now it says hi in blue text. That will go for all servers. Then you have these settings. And you can save those settings. And now is the interesting one, which is just for one server. So if you only want to target one server, you'll need the port. And you can do that by saying semicolon port. This server port is 560. So we can go over and say 560. And now we can say m hi to server 560. Save changes. And now it says 560. But if we change the port to 561, and hi, then this server is not 561, so we don't get the message. You can also use this from my phone, and you don't even have to be on the same Wi-Fi or anything. You don't even have to be in the game. So, I will show you that in one second. Okay guys, we're here with my laptop and my phone. Just focus in a bit. So for the command, we'll type in M test. And so we'll basically hit go and Save. So now, you just see that? Message came up. Just from my phone. And you don't have to have just messages. You can, hints, you can kill people like kill.
maker and then we can just hit save and saving and I should die yep and I'm touching the computer and so that's pretty much how to use the remote admin